Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a very different type of format for me. Pick a card, but it's gonna be super psychic, intuitive, however you want to call it, um, because you're not actually going to be choosing cards, but numbers and the colors associated with the numbers I'm going to explain. So, group one. Um, group one, you're going to be an indigo. So, I'm seeing magenta and it's mixed with dark blue indigo color. For group two is aquamarine or bluish greenish if if that resonates more it's mixed and then pile three i do see clear quartz so you can imagine this transparent crystal um especially clear quartz it's just like glass okay imagine imagine that white Imagine ice as well. Some of you might be visualizing something similar to ice. I'm also having a vision of a glass cup for pile three, for group three. So yeah, you could be imagining like glass with um with uh, little cracks in it. Then group four, you are gold. Okay, you're gold. I'm having a vision of a golden bowl. So that's what I see. So you're represented by gold. Now you can go in the timestamps below and check the timing for your group. And this is going to be intuitive channeling. So let's see how this goes. I've never done this. These are guided messages that you need to hear right now. So for group one with the magenta and deep indigo dark blue, Let's see what is coming through. You guys have been planting a lot of seeds. For many of you, there are great transformation happening in terms of education, especially for students watching this. I see like huge changes and breakthroughs in what you actually want to study, what you actually want to do. Some of you will be facing um, short travel very soon. So I'm seeing the, the third house, Gemini energy short travel i'm also getting like go with the flow of this you might get invited to go somewhere um you may plan a short trip or something just go with the flow um relax okay pile one you really need to relax Archangel Michael was coming through from the very beginning. I was kind of pushing him away, but he just keeps forcing himself. Um, so yeah, Archangel Michael is here. Some of you might be denying a spiritual experience. Some of you are in denial about a spiritual connection. Um, but this is especially a connection to an to a being, okay, to a being on the other side, or you are denying that what you're going through is actually spiritual, you may try to find logical reasoning behind it. I'm seeing museums, okay, I'm seeing like museums and doing research i feel like many of you whatever you're studying or whatever these breakthroughs about your purpose about your once again studies are um it has to do a lot of like researching history it also you may have assignments <laughs> um but it like searching for your purpose it has to do with digging your nose in history maybe um apocryphic history like history that has been hidden you know researching about um information that comes from sources that are alternative declassified and classified 
So yeah, you guys, I, I just see you digging in documentation, really. What else for group one? Let's see. Okay. Wow, so because I, I just get that you guys are going through a lot, I'm actually seeing a light on guide. I keep getting lighter. I'm seeing a light on guide and some Syrian energies coming through. And they're opening like this gate, this portal for healing. They're asking you to enter a astral space for healing. Many of you have been connecting with a specific animal at this time much more than usual. So for example, you're not a cat person, but you're connecting a lot with cats or you've never necessarily liked birds, but now you're connecting with birds. So I'm getting that for you and I'm getting that you're meant to study this animal. This animal will show you how to navigate your situation, how to move through your life at this time. And I'm seeing red rubies, which um, in connection to the animals, like the, the actions of the animals that I see are very aggressive as if they're chasing their prey. So you guys are meant to get a little aggressive, a little action oriented. My cat is outside my room. I'm going to let him in in a moment. Um, you guys are really meant to get really action oriented. Like I do see that your masculine energy is being activated at this time. Whatever is going on, just push through it. Okay, just try to um, assert yourselves a little bit. Maybe you've been trying to um, go with the flow, but it's. What you've been doing does not feel like going with the flow. It more feels like you've been passively observing and not taking the required action. I'm sorry to say that. Um, it may be triggering for some of you. But yeah, your guides are like, yes, go with the flow. But the flow is now like giving you this energy and you might be you might be putting your energy in the wrong places because... I don't know why there is this resistance, there is this avoidance to put your energy in the right place. It's almost like this fear of, you know, if I if I go actively after this dream and it still doesn't happen, then I might, I would feel like a failure or I would feel like I wasted time. So I would invest energy in, in other things that are not really building upon what I envision for the future. So that's the energy I see. That's why you have Archangel Michael and this strong masculine energy. Your solar plexus is getting stronger. There is an achievement, especially if you guys connect with Archangel Michael, like I do see him and this animal guide that is presenting itself to you. I do see him really helping you, really helping you achieve victory of some kind. So you will be very soon facing a situation where it's like you're either victorious or not. And if you connect... Um, you're gonna be victorious. So that is my message for group number one. Now go to the timestamps below if you picked another group or I'm just going to take a quick pause and move on to group two. Hello group two, if you chose the aquamarine color, let's see what channeled messages come for you. I am specifically seeing a female, this could be a friend, but like a very important feminine in your life. Um, I do see some struggles in your relationship, like lately the connection has been on and off, lately the connection has been triggering or you've been, you've been feeling like you're too dependent or attached to this feminine 
some of you may be cancer, cancer moons, cancer risings, have cancer in your fourth, seventh house, like there is, or moon in the seventh house, just strong connection to a mother figure or a feminine figure, like a best friend for some of you, and yeah, I do see that the, the connection has been on and off, something is disbalanced here. You you do have strong past life energy with this person. In this past life, you gave this person a lot of energy, a lot of teachings, a lot of wisdoms. So you could have been like a like a parent to this person, or a teacher, or an older sibling. There is this um, dynamic where you were in a leadership position when it came to the connection in the past life, and in this lifetime, there is a compensation for that. I also see that either someone owes you money or you owe money and I'm seeing Maat coming through the Egyptian goddess of justice. She is really balancing the scales here. So whatever feels unfair or if someone owes you something, piles you, if this person does not return it to you, you're going to receive it in a different way, like some something that you lost because you did a favor to somebody. This would be returned to you either from that person or a different person. However, if someone, oh my god, if someone played games with you, Maat is really potent energy, okay? She's not playing. So if you're trying to play games with someone, if you're trying to hide something and Check in with your intentions, okay? Are they good or bad? Or if you think that someone has like malefic intentions or is being suspicious around you, this person is going to receive some sort of karmic justice, let's say. For some of you, this is like, um, I'm seeing someone with short, curly, dark hair that is that might be involved in this situation of injustice. I do see that group two in general, you're discovering so much beauty in your life or like, I, I don't know why so many relationships are coming up. Like there, there are so many people right now. Um, I feel that this beauty might either come through a new connection forming or simply like, it's just a shift in your mindset, but you are acknowledging so much beauty, the amount of beautiful experiences, the opportunities for beautiful experiences that you couldn't see in the past, now you're seeing them. But it's also very likely for you that there is a Scorpio Cancer Pisces entering the picture here, offering this beautiful connection and opening your eyes to miracles, to positive experiences, The, the healing process has been activated. So if group two, pile two, if you've been feeling like you need healing, but you don't receive it, or you're in a constant stage of, there is more to heal, there is more to heal. I'm getting that you're getting out of a shadow work period or dark night of the soul period. You're truly entering a, um, not a healing face, it's a healed face, okay? And I'm also getting like your spirit guides. Um, your spirit guides are saying uh, something really big about a mindset shift. You know, that they're saying that stop calling it a healing journey or whatever. Start calling it, I'm healed, you know? Like put a finish to a situation by affirming it, okay? So pay attention to your words file to group to pay attention to your words because um, the things that you affirm, the things that you talk about as well, you really manifest through your throat chakra. You really manifest through your throat.
<laughs> some of you might be giving up toxic habits, specifically smoking here. Some of you are giving up smoking because uh, they see you like coughing from a cigarette and putting it down and you're like, no more. Um, there is actually, uh, this may be ancestral, this may be generational. Um, so yeah, I do see you trying to break out a cycle when it comes to a healthy, a unhealthy habit that corresponds to what you put in your body. But it's ancestral. I'm trying to see if there is anything else for group two. Hmm. I think that's it. So group two, I hope you enjoyed your intuitive channeled messages. This is impromptu, super quick. Um, not for everybody out there, I know that, but I just feel felt guided to do it. I hope you enjoyed this format. You can let me know if it resonated and yeah, um, I will see you in my next pick a card. If it's a pick a card or if I come back like this channeling again, we'll see what I do. Hello group three. So whoever picked the clear cords or the glass or the eyes, the glass with cracks in it, however you visualized the clear cords, um, your channeled messages. Now I'm already intuitively getting that you have started a cycle. I was hearing the initiation of the high priestess. I was seeing her scroll opening. So I see that a soul contract has been activated for you. You're starting definitely a cycle, a new journey, maybe with a new person, maybe it's, new, it's, it's a new environment, but um, whatever new beginning that is on the horizon, I want you to know that that is quite a long-term soul contract. So. This is going to be a commitment that will influence you for the next one up to three years. I really see something long term. This initiation pile three, group three, um, this initiation is going to be life changing. I don't mean to be dramatic. L listen to my voice. I'm so chill and calm, but this would definitely be um, very, very much life changing. Right now, you're making some big decisions big new beginnings. This is not just an ordinary change, okay? Music and the arts are also involved here. The healing arts are also involved. Health industry. Mm, some of you might have recently been rejected by someone you confessed to or you were mm, ghosted. Someone hurt you. I really feel like my heart space hurting from a rejection. Specifically, I'm hearing a rejection. Many of you might be life path 11 two, seven. And I'm really sorry to say this, but there is this dynamic of each rejection catapults you to the next level. It pushes you to the next level. You do have a lot of angelic frequency coming through. Like I do see three archangels almost like carrying you into your ascension. 
but they're not just angels okay i just feel like at this time these are the beings you might be connecting with but you definitely have simply a lot of spiritual beings coming to help you because there is a lot of self-awareness okay a lot of self-awareness pile group three <laughs> i keep saying pile group three a lot of self-awareness that just um it's almost like you initiate yourself as well, not just other people and contracts with them, but your consciousness itself is very, very active when it comes to the ascension process. I'm getting that um, for some, either you're polishing a psychic gift you have, you've always had, or a new one is being revealed to you. It's almost like there is a plot twist in your soul journey, group three. And this requires a lot of support from the angelic teams, as well as your spirit guides in general. I'm seeing a silver cord, so this could be about a, about a out-of-body experience or sleep paralysis. And I'm hearing destiny and I think that there is a plot twist in how you view your destiny, how you understand your destiny. Maybe new information was revealed to you um, in a very, very spiritual, paranormal way. And now your destiny looks completely different. Whoever just started dating someone, I am hearing your guide say, yes, this is a soulmate. And for most of you, this will, this will last. Um, can I say forever? Mm. <laughs> but it will definitely last long. And I mean, you can make it forever if you want to. But this is going to be for most of you long term. I'm getting India, okay, so some of you might be dating someone from India, some of you might be dating just a different culture from your, or from your own. Oh, wow, I'm hearing Estonia as well. So, you, we could have a European-Indian connection. There are so many questions and they are all in your heart space, group three, um, questions about the connection. And I do see that you may seek guidance from friends, but what I'm getting is um, this is very, very spiritual connection and your friends may not understand it. Um, and the things that you're meant to experience with this person are not really... They are galactic, they are beyond Earth. So an earthly perspective would not do justice to the relationship. Now, we cannot excuse physical abuse and toxicity. I'm not saying that. But definitely a huge portion of this connection and all the things that happen 
in your internal world because of it have spiritual reasonings and a human perception would not make sense. So that's what I have for group three. I hope you guys resonated. These are just intuitive, channeled. If you didn't find your message, just let it, let the information fly, move on to a different video, whatever. Um, but you can let me know if this resonated and if you enjoy this format. So now let's move on to group four. Group four, so whoever picked the gold, the golden sphere, the golden ball, the gold color, this is your channeled message. You guys, I'm getting agreement. Like, if you've been wondering whether someone would agree with your idea, someone would approve of an idea, I'm getting that yes, this is happening for you. Especially if it has to do with... Um, I was hearing something about... Internship and getting a college degree, like exiting college. And I was also getting something about um, about kids. So yeah, like if you're facing any situation that involves your children or someone else's children and you're asking for approval, um, someone to say yes to something so that you can proceed with your idea, with your plans, you're going to get a yes. There is a strong Leo quality, okay? So group four. I would speculate here because I'm getting a lot of like flashy energy. I'm getting a lot of flamboyant energy and I'm getting someone who is really getting out of their comfort zone here. Someone who has really outgrown themselves, outdone themselves. And you guys are stepping into this position of the public eye in the public eye or position of fame position where all eyes on you group for a lot of recognition and uh, this could be another thing that your idea pertains to like something that has to do with public recognition and like the audience really likes what you put out the audience really approves of your ideas of your talents now it with the Leo energy, with the sun energy, because I'm seeing the sun and I'm seeing like a really happy Leo person. <laughs> um, so you guys may have like strong Leo and also Libra um, placements in your natal chart, 10th house, rising sign, sun sign, your Venus. Um, and I'm getting just really warm energy, very positive. And this is super uplifting. And I'm hearing like you're going for something even if it's imperfect, okay? So group four, even if this is imperfect, you're just going for it. And there are <laughs> tons of blessings for that. Hmm. Yeah, your fifth house is developing big time. Uh, you may have transits through your fifth house, but you're discovering new creative ways to express yourself. You are redoing old projects in your rebranding there's a lot of like manifestation law of attraction things sleep sleeping with crystals underneath your pillow drinking your quantum jump water, if you will. A lot of that, like a lot of techniques, okay? Visualization, a lot of like intentional manifestation. So it's not just taking action in the physical because I, I saw you entering something like a temple. You're taking action in the spiritual realms as well towards your dreams. I'm hearing someone here is meant to be the voice for victims for victims of any social injustices or 
um, bullying or something like that, like victims with some trauma. Um, I'm getting that you are meant to be the voice of that, whether this is going to be through publishing a book about uh, people like that or to raise awareness through public speaking, through gaining a following and educating your followers. It's almost like Pio Ford will stay in a teacher position without even trying to do so. You might be just trying to get your creative projects out there and somehow it's so funny but they will transform into something humanitarian without you trying intentionally to transform them um, to move them in that direction you guys have a spider and a snake coming as spirit animal guides so the spider shows me how versatile versatile you are it shows me also connections and networking and like you have this you are meant to be in the public eye or to do something really with communication and social social things because maybe maybe digital marketing or something because you have this like intuitive sense just like the spider in the net whatever is happening at the other corner of the net you can feel it you can you can feel it the, the smallest tremble uh, you have this intuitive feeling and you can like pick up on the right people you can you just know who to communicate with and who to not communicate with so i would say that your circle of networking and maybe clients or people who can give you some sort of important connections um this circle is expanding for group four I do see that this extroverted lifestyle may drain you a little bit. Um, so I would recommend a relax if you need that. Your guides are showing me that for many of you, 3D looks pretty well and like you're doing your purpose, you're doing everything, but you may feel blocked from the spiritual world. And your guys are showing me that now is not the right time for you to get sucked into spirituality and philosophy and things like that. There is divine timing for all of this. Um, the discoveries of spirituality that you crave will come to you when it's when they're meant to come to you. Yeah, now it's more about looking outside of you at the collective and seeing how can you contribute to bettering that collective later on i see that your life will turn around and um you may be more into doing the inner work or connecting with spirit than now so i'm getting that you should simply trust your gut you're also guided by a bee spirit so you guys you inheritedly have a lot of abundance coming your way um and your spirit guides are saying, do not, just because you may feel blocked from us, we are guiding you. You have to trust that. So group four, I hope you resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know. And yeah, this is pretty spontaneous. So I cannot promise like even a generally accurate reading, to be quite honest. I feel like this would be for specific people watching. So... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it um, and hopefully I will see you in my next pick a card.